Hello there, Virgo. We're doing your tarot reading for the month of January. Virgo, Happy New Year, by the way. I hope that you started off the new year on the right foot. If not, don't worry. We'll, we'll look into that for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Virgo, let's see. We're going to look into several things today, like the theme for 2024, the theme in love this new year. But we're going to start off with the month of January. How did you start off the new year, Virgo? what's happening what's going on let's give you some perspective some insight into what's happening and going on right now whenever that is Whew, virgo virgo show me virgo what's happening we have the three of swords all right so there's conflict already of course there is why not <laughs> of course there is and then we have Okay, there's conflict in a connection, guys. So you guys are, are already fighting. I'm just kidding. Um, Virgo, we have the three of swords and then we have a two of cups. So we're talking about a relationship, a connection that is in conflict. For what reason? Who knows? For each and every one of you, that reason is going to differ. And it might be extreme for some of you on this spectrum of severity like... It could be really bad or it might just be like a small misunderstanding. Whatever the case, there is um, there is a problem between you and another person that I, it's, it's pretty obvious, okay? It's pretty obvious that there's a problem here and... Um, Okay, you see that's interesting because, uh, or that's important. I kept uh, obvious, 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 obvious. It's like all I keep hearing. And as soon as I picked up this page of swords, um, I got the feeling of somebody trying to figure something out. So maybe things are not are, are not completely obvious. Maybe they are, but they're not. But there's still some confusion some uncertainty in the air a little bit and this page of um <clears throat> pentacles and it reminded me of the page of swords first so maybe there's an air sign of significance for some of you um this page of pentacles is talking about um an individual that is not reactive it's um, a person that is, I would say, not brash and that likes to process, right, everything carefully before, before anything else. Which is good, right? We, I, I, I want to see the page. We want to see the page of Pentacles when there, where there's a problem, an issue, right? Because the page of Pentacles is the person that doesn't jump to conclusions, right? They also, but the problem is with the page of Pentacles is that they also don't uh, act quickly when they're supposed to. You know, sometimes, you, sometimes that's needed, right? In when there's um an argument there's a fight of some sort sometimes you knew do you do need to act fast you do need to say something right and the page of pentacles they won't they'll they'll let something sit for a while we have the five of cups again there's regret there's you know, a little bit of setbacks here, some, you know, disappointment. We have the four of cups. So you see what I'm talking about? You, I'm the, the four of cups, I'm seeing it as like a withdrawal. You know, this four of cups is stagnation. So something has stagnated, guys, for sure. But listen, I don't think it really... It, it kind of feels like the problem developed that that makes any sense here like the, the problem developed the problem got bigger <laughs> the 
the problem got bigger. And well, there's stagnation. What does that mean? It means that it's a connection finds itself in a space where it's kind of hard to move move from the place it's in right now. Uh, I'm getting some friction too. And perhaps it's the friction I'm hearing. It's the friction that's creating some some movement, but some some it's allowing the energy to circulate. It's allowing movement, but it's not necessarily you know the kind you really want to see with the three of swords. Um, page of Pentacles. tells me that the willingness okay to work through whatever this is is there there's a willingness to work through this right um which means that there is a commitment right a desire to make things better okay we have the two of swords, but I don't think somebody really knows what to do, how to do it, what choice to make, you know, reality is a little cloudy. You see the energy, two of swords. Now the two of swords also talks about, you know, it goes with what I'm picking up already because this could be not doing anything. And that's, that kind of feels, again, I feel like a problem became a problem, developed into a problem. And well, the two of swords talks about just crossing your hands and just maybe closing your eyes and la da 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 da, you know, not doing anything not doing anything and what not doing anything it's it's a choice and um i suppose that that is something that is being realized perhaps right now or will be realized very soon you know this month of january eventually right like no, doing nothing is it's actually a choice right uncertainty what um this situation guys requires more information it requires more information because there's a lot of pieces missing which are significant and will which you know if if you had them you would be able to see a, a bigger picture so there's a lot of things missing gosh this is a gosh okay I see you, my dear Virgo, being patient, you know, two of cups, you know, you, the other person, trying to be patient, using your intuition as well to navigate, you know, through this. All right, so what about this? What about this? What what about this? What do you want to tell my dear uh, Virgo about this? We have the Queen of Swords. And then we have the Lovers. You see, this is about a relationship, guys. It's the both of the both of yous. <laughs> it's the both of you. What happened? There must be miscommunication here. That that must be it. That I mean, of, of course it is. The Two of Swords. The Three of Swords. All right, so what do you want to tell my dear Virgo about this? We got the Queen of Swords, direct. Okay, forthright. That's what needs to happen. I mean, Virgo, you just need to be direct. You just need to say it how it is. You need to be honest. You need to be open. That's what's needed in the situation from you or from another person. But quite frankly, let's just say is the both of yous. <laughs> is the both of yous, okay? There it is, the lovers. It's two people there. We have the two of cups here. We have another two here. So it's the both of yous, okay? 
need to be more open and you need to be more direct and honest, you know, communicative um, and forthright. Um, and, you know, that's, that's what, that's what needs to happen in order for, that looks very healing, right? It, yeah. That, that's what needs to happen for things to clear up, to get better. And I'm going to leave it at that. That's what needs to happen here. Or is that happening? Is that happen? That's what needs to happen. That's what's happening. Okay, guys. In this, some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. This is a relationship and a connection, guys, to a cups that needs a whole lot of work, guys. But, you know, it kind of feels like it's, again, we go back to that stagnant energy. Do not make the mistake, okay? Remember what I was saying a little while ago about the friction? Because it's, it's stagnated and it could be... That could create frustration, right? This, this, that four of cups when it's just, it's, it could, it can create frustration. Okay. And, uh, one of the ways to shake things up, right? Because that's what needs to happen, right? But be careful how you shake this up. Okay. You don't want to shake it up with, with argument, with conflict. Okay. Because, a lack of clarity, uncertainty, a lack of trust as well, right? The two, the two of swords is there as well as the two of swords. Like it can, you know, it, it can be frustrating and it's not, uh, it could create further, um, you know, negative emotions and then it can turn into something. And, and again, I guess what I'm saying is, listen, don't make the mistake of shaking this up it through through fight through argue through arguing okay um one more card what advice what advice list i'm going to pull advice for you advice 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 about this advice it's the queen of swords like we have the queen of pentacles now we have two queens all right so the queen of pentacles is about um Like I'm getting about feeling reassured. It's a very kind and a very nurturing energy as well. So it goes with what I'm telling you guys. Look, there's a problem in a relationship. The last thing you want to do is the three of swords, okay? And for each and every one of you, how this three of swords would manifest even further. I mean, depending on your situation and the severity, you know, it can look, you know, it can differ but it's, it's all the same. It's just something that, you know, it's not going to help the situation at all. And well, the queen of pentacles is peaceful, is calm, is serene. She is safe. She is secure, which creates a stabilizing presence, right? She's kind and she's nurturing. Um, so I feel like that this, this energy is, uh, is is needed in the situation guys and i would say the queen of pentacles i would say is understanding i would say so is the queen of swords so is the queen of swords is definitely understanding but they do have two different approaches in communication but um overall i'm seeing these two queens as something positive guys okay there's a lot of emotion here as well with the lovers, guys. Uh, feelings, mutual, okay, mutual feelings. I mean, look at all that. That could be um, that could be a little overwhelming, just a little bit, okay. What is the theme? What is the theme? What is the theme? So that's what's happening. That's what's going on this January, guys. How is that? I can't, I want to ask <clears throat> what's going to happen next. But to be honest with you, I don't necessarily like always asking that because what's going to happen next is not always guaranteed, especially in a situation like this when things are still developing and there's still choices and decisions, especially with that lover's freedom of will. And 
<clears throat> which means that the future can't really fully be predicted because there's still choices and decisions that are waiting to be made, right? So until those are made, you could get a clear picture. You know, the advice that I was giving you, that could go so many ways, guys. This problem seems to have gotten worse, developed, right? Gotten worse. And it can continue to get worse based on, you know, what continues to happen. But it can also, it has the potential to get, you know, it can get a lot better too. But that's up for you to decide. That's up for another person to decide, for the both of you to decide. But I think it looks good though. It looks promising, especially so there with that lovers, right? Which, you know, I'm seeing as the... I'm seeing as two people, right, making the right choices and decisions that are going to help the relationship and the connection, right, in a positive way. We have the hangman, okay, and at the bottom of the deck, of the deck we have the ten of cups. So I'm still talking about this situation, there, guys. Um, non-action, non-action. Somebody's not doing anything. But, but, you know, if the hangman is here, sometimes that's needed, guys. It's not sometimes. If the hangman is here, look, it's saying that there's non-action from somebody. Now, that might be non-action from you or not non-action, but from somebody else. <clears throat> and whatever that... Um, that stillness, right, that that non-action creates is meant to help you see something, right? It's meant to help you see something that you are weren't able to see before, perhaps because of your focus or because um, it just didn't occur or whatever. Mm, what is this hangman doing here? What is this hangman doing here? Is the eight of pentacles and it's reversed. All right, so, and then here is the moon card. Okay. So it's a period of stillness, a period of surrender. Maybe that's what you've come to do. For sure, I can see that when the energy we just saw. Maybe that's what you've come to do. You've kind of just surrendered, okay, like things are the way they are kind of thing. Okay, let's see what happens. Um, and you feel like you're suspended up in the air, like, okay, what now? I feel like this non-action was needed, okay? Or let's just say the non-action I feel like has already happened, guys. You've been this on, in this hangman position for a while, right? And you see something now. What do you see? If you don't see nothing, you're like, don't know what you're talking about, then listen, um, sit down, meditate. Moments of reflection every day are going to help you because what did we see at the beginning? We saw the two of swords. So there is one, I can already see there's miscommunication, okay? Two, there's a, a lack of awareness, two of swords. Misinformation, a lack of awareness, okay? Now the eight of pentacles talks about uh, not putting in the effort. It talks about something not getting better. So at this point, guys, I feel like this hangman, okay, is creating problems. It's creating problems because either one, somebody is failing to see something, right? You're, somebody's failing to see this, somebody's failing to see something or two, somebody has, um, Somebody thinks that they're not supposed to do anything. That's what this feels like. It can be confusing. I mean, I'm telling you that energy up there is the eight of pentacles, guys. So yeah, there's no progress being made. 
so there's a, um, there's no growth. Not it's not growing. It's this is it's, it, what's as well as what's happening and what's going on right now, guys. It's not it's not it's not productive, guys. It's it's not do it's not doing anything. So listen, there is a strong need. Is the moon card here to reflect? to sit in your feelings and your emotions, which I feel like are intense, guys. There's some intensity here, for sure. Now, the moon card also talks about feelings that don't really have a name, right? Like, what's this feeling? You know, guys, you know what really, really, really helps? Just sitting down and breathing. Just sit down and breathe. Sit down and breathe. Like, start off, this is what I like to do. Um, no, no music, nothing, just silence. Now, you know, there might be noise outside. That's fine. That's okay. Just sit down and breathe. Start breathing in through your mouth, deep breaths, breathing in through your nose, exhaling through your mouth, like switch it up your mouth, breathe in, exhale, breathe in through your mouth, exhale through your mouth, and then switch it up to like breathe in through your nose and then exhale through your mouth. And then lastly, you want to breathe in through your nose and then exhale through your nose. And that's when, you know, start off like that in stages, right? One mouth, right? Breathe in, breathe out through your mouth. Second stage, right? Uh, breathe in through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Third stage, just breathe in through your nose and uh, breathe out through your through your nose. And then that third, third stage, guys, you'll start to really be really calm and your, your breath might be very low. They might not be very deep. And um, you start feeling incredibly relaxed and just sit there. Make sure that you're not laying down because you will fall asleep. You have to be upright sitting down like that. You're sitting down on the couch and um, you'll begin to start feeling, okay, everything. Don't judge your feelings, your emotions. Just sit there and that's all you have to do is feel them. That's it. That in itself, guys, really gives you um, perspective. It gives you awareness, okay, about what's happening and what's going on, okay? With this moon card, you see that overflowing of emotions? overflowing of emotions let's that's it what is the theme what is the theme for 2024 now this is just in general overall like what is the theme for 2024 guys what's up with this year i highly recommend that you guys look up your personal year number look up if, if you're if look up numerology guys i really like numerology i'm a number nine life paths and 2024 is my number one personal year, which is a lot better than last year, 2023. It was my number nine personal year. Um, we have the King of Wands. Okay, so the theme for 2024, my dear Virgo, is about um, being more, what is the word? It's about taking initiative it's about um, taking action, about having a commanding presence, about taking a leadership role. What does that mean? It means, you know, taking action, making choices, trusting yourself. And, but what's really what, but mostly it's about taking action, guys. It's about doing because that's the king of wands out of all of the kings. This one does. You don't have to tell the king of wands to do anything that just do. If you know what this feels like, it does. It's like the complete opposite of the king of wands energy, right? Because it's, it's, it's like stagnated. So, um, I'm seeing the flow of water in the moon card, right? There's like a lot of feelings there. And well, I think it pairs very well with the King of Wands, which is a very fiery energy, right? And it really, and, and it creates this steam, right? So um, I see feelings changing, shifting, um, your emotions feeling a lot lighter, a lot easier to manage and work with guys. Um, so yeah, King of Wands, 
and you know the king of wands says okay that you're the theme for this year is you're going to encounter situations that are going to require for you to make choices and decisions quickly right for you to trust yourself for you to be confident you're going to be put in those situations right like i need like you feeling reassured like you have you're you you will you will be re, you feel a lot more confident and reassured uh, this year, and the situations okay that you encounter this year are going to help you out with that okay. <clears throat> so it it could be nerve wracking maybe a little bit for some of you. We have the five of cups. There's that five of cups. Is this a lack of confidence? Is the five of cups? Again, we go back to the setbacks. You, you know what, guys? Um, I feel like you know what I'm hearing right now, guys, and I, it's not me. <laughs> I just want to say it's not me, but I'm hearing this like <laughs> it's your fault. Now I know that sounds terrible. It's your fault. I'm hearing these setbacks, okay? And we, I'm hearing Rosa. We go back to that hangman, okay? And this has happened to me before, guys. And it's just it's a lack of awareness, okay? It it, it is many times, guys. It's it's like I don't really mean it's your fault, but it's your fault in the way of you know, you didn't see it and it was, it's right there. But unfortunately the lack, your lack of awareness did not, you know, allow you to, you know, understand really, I'm hearing the root cause of something, right? So remember that beginning energy, how stagnated that felt it's like, okay, like what's, what's happening, what's going on. And it's creating, um, it, it's, it's creating conflict within you. It's creating problems. It's creating issues. Right. And, um, we saw the hanged man, right? Which is like, what well, we could say, well, like, why, am, why is this happening? Why am I here? That's kind of what I feel like when I'm put in that hangman position is like, why is this happening? And you don't really have a clear answer as to why that is. And it's very uncomfortable being in the hangman position, right? <clears throat> and, um, After being in, in that for a while, you realize right at the end of it, once when you gain that perspective is, gosh, I could have gotten myself out of this. I could have gotten out of this sooner if I would have done this. I was not doing this. That's usually what the hangman is, guys, how I've experienced this. You're not doing something, but not because you don't want to. It's like it doesn't even cross your mind. It's not even something you can fathom in that moment because of your your perception, your perception, your state of mind. It's not even a, sometimes a possibility because it doesn't even occur to you. You see that? So that's kind of like what I see that's happening here, guys. <clears throat> right? So yeah. This is talking about um, action, guys. Taking uh, taking initiative. Taking initiative, guys. There's there's setbacks, and I feel like this is is affecting, could be affecting right your relationships, your connections, but it could be you know related to any other thing in in your life, right? And, and anything, maybe a couple of things, several things. And then right here is when we get the hair font. Aha. Aha. Right, which, you know, the the hair font is, um, I'm seeing it as knowledge. So the month, the theme for 2024 is structure, is gaining wisdom through experience through repeated efforts and um, taking action, guys, taking control and um, doing away with any sort of setbacks by gaining that awareness, guys. Interesting. Okay, let's leave it at that. What is the theme for love? What is the theme for love? What is the theme for love? 
What is the theme for love? The theme for love this 2024. The theme for love. 2024 let's see what what uh does this new year have in store for you what is the your love life look like what is the theme we have the three of swords and then we have the strength card in its reverse gosh doesn't it make sense look it's it all connects guys there's something you're not doing there there's something that has not even occurred to you and um the best way to learn guys is through experience. Okay. We gain it. Sometimes that's what just needs to happen because of that lack of awareness. Like we just, we don't. And, and most of the time we lack awareness because we lack experience. Okay. And again, there's not, that's everybody, you know, we saw the three of swords earlier. Remember? And look, it's a, it's an eye. You see what I'm telling you? It's an eye. So I'm getting that for many of you, you've been struggling, right? Like 2023, you could have struggled with a lot of things and it's, it's, it, and maybe you've tried to address it, right? But the way that you were addressing it was not the proper way, which we kind of went over that earlier, right? And, um, 2024 is about bringing awareness. I'm hearing to all these struggles awareness to these setbacks awareness to these disappointments that um and and seeing i'm hearing how they were really created right seeing how they were created seeing how some of perhaps uh actions and behaviors were you know so supporting uh, the make you know creating these things and seeing that okay which is incredibly healing and the strength card you know the strength card talks about um it kind of feels like giving up a little bit, you know, not that you're giving up, right? But I'm getting that many of you have maybe stopped putting effort into certain things because, you know, of the way they turn out. And then you think that maybe they weren't supposed to turn out or they weren't supposed to happen, but it's not that. Again, we go to that hangman and that perspective, right? So this, this, and this is for love, by the way, it's for love. So strength card reverse could speak of, of a lack of patience, right? It can talk about just giving up. It can talk about aggression, uh, hostility, which again, we go back to that beginning energy and how I was telling you guys, you know what, like anger, like, or there's conflict here, but it's like, if it, it's like, it shouldn't really be there. It's not there, but it's there, but it feels like a misunderstanding and the three of swords, um, bringing awareness to that guys, bringing awareness to perhaps certain wild feelings, right? The, the hang, uh, the strength part reversed. We have the 10 of wands. I, I, I'm glad that this 10 of wands is here. And look, do you see this like something blew up? It's reminding me of like a tower, right? All the smoke, um, dust that that creates, right? When a tower falls and poof, there, I'm hearing you're able to release this burden. I mean, so many of you have, um, I'm hearing things have, it has felt like things have been accumulating and accumulating and th things have, uh, it seems as though things get harder and harder and harder and harder and harder and harder. And you're like, why, 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 why? And then boom, here's the reason, right? Here's the reason. So the theme in love guys is bringing awareness. Okay. To bringing awareness to unnecessary things right that have been making things harder for you bringing awareness to what those things are and finally being able to let go and release i'm hearing this this heaviness that has been weighing you down however that resonates that's the theme in love guys one more card 
that's very interesting. I like your reading, you know, there's a lot of healing in this, but not necessarily in the way that you would, you know, when you think about the word healing, it's not like what you would imagine. We have the maiden of cups. I'm seeing this is just emotionally, um, we could say being healed. This is you understanding your feelings and your emotions, feeling a lot more comfortable in them and just being in a much more balanced place and open as well. Like this is um, the perfect, oh, I wouldn't say perfect, but this is such a good energy to be in when it comes to love. I love that guys. Okay, so now let's get some closing messages. But before we do that, let me just pull some, just something that spirit wants to share with you. All right, anything that spirit wants to share with you right now, it could be a revelation of some sort about, you know, the present moment. What does, um, let's see, spirit, what do you want to share with my dear Virgo right now about uh, anything, maybe some clarity, um, you want to give them clarity, maybe a revelation of some sort. We have the page of swords. <sighs> Analysis, right? Analysis is this page of sorts. The page of sorts is very curious, right? They're analytical. They they want to get down to you know the truth of the matter. So the page of sorts is asking you to um, like explore, like look deeper. There, it's 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 highlighting communication as well. And I'm thinking about the Queen of Swords that we saw earlier. And uh, that was about being open, being direct and being honest, which I'm associating as well with the King of Wands, right? That we saw there uh, in the theme, which says what, again, you're going to be put in situations. And if you're not used to doing, you know, that, um, it's going to take you a while to, to do it, right? So this page of swords is just saying to bring awareness, right? Bring, bring awareness, uh, go looking, look deeper into things. There's a need to analyze everything that's going on here because it feels like there's a lot of pieces missing. Uh, facts, right, are important. Uh, honesty, communication, all of those things are important right now, guys, okay? Also keep an open mind, the page of swords. You know, the page of swords says that, you know, keep an open mind says you don't have, you know, all the answers. So be open to learn and to see things from a different point of view. Closing messages for my, closing messages for Virgo. Hold on a second, guys. Hey there, Virgo, I'm back. The card that fell is this one right here. And it says, turn on your heart light, okay? Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experience love. All right, so what's standing out to me here is like allow yourself a moment to reflect, which was a really big thing that I was telling you guys to do. Be supportive, okay? And then here we have uh, two angels. Make a genuine effort to show you care. Doesn't it go? It does. It goes with the with your reading. Make a genuine effort to know, to show that you care. And then we have express love through gifts. Giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including yours. And this says spiritual connection. The relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. And then this says, actions speak loud, loudly, express love through your actions. Yep, it goes. All right, let's see. Further, for the mer for, furthermore, <laughs> if you want to book a reading with me, guys, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to VocheVoyageTarot.com where you could book a private reading with me. Let's see. Closing messages, closing messages for my dear Virgo. Here we go. Nurture. It says self-love is essential. A time to address your needs and ground yourself. One more card. Soulmate. A connection from your past life has emerged. Embrace the connection. All right. So love is like a really big factor for you guys. 
all around I, love is certain relationships i think are a big deal this this year do you guys know what champurrado is i went to a mexican bakery with my mom earlier this morning they, they had champurrado and it's so good and i'm thinking about it right now because it's cold it's it's pretty cold here not that cold where i'm at and uh, well, they had champurrado at the Mexican bakery and uh, we got some bolillos. Do you guys know what that is? Um, some bolillos, some, um, and I got some uh, cup of champurrado and it's really good. I don't really know how they make champurrado. It's, uh, I know, it may, I think my mom said they put uh, like corn flour in there. It's really good. Anyways. I don't know why I, I'm talking about champurrado. <laughs> closing message, closing message for my dear Virgo. Closing message. One more, one more, one more. And I'm going to let you go. Here it is. It says new home. Ooh, I like this, guys. Moving is a step in the right direction for you. What? It says, if you didn't hear, moving is a step in the right direction for you. This is what I have for you, Virgo. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.